Hello, and welcome to a VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. I have to tell you, we've got some interesting news to talk to you about. A uh, couple different things. Yesterday, um, Fiverr came out with a couple. We got a bunch of different things. The first thing we're going to talk about, a new uh, program that Fiverr just came out with um, that... You know, I, I'm kind of up in the air about, but I'll talk to you about it anyways. Um, Fiverr just came out with yesterday a cash advance option that you can do if you go to uh, your uh, Fiverr account and then you go to earnings up in the upper right hand corner. There'll be, uh, I think, a get cash or cash advance or whatever. And you click that and basically it takes you to a page where it runs you through just a couple steps where it'll tell you how much they're willing to give you a, ca a cash advance uh, where they'll just deposit it into your Fiverr account, in which case you can use it to buy Fiverr products or you can actually withdraw the cash. Um, and then they um, also uh, show you how much it's actually going to cost in interest, which looks like it's around 7%, 6 or 7%. Those are just my general calculations. I don't don't hold me to that, um, but it looks like it's somewhere around 7%. Here's And basically, it's a cash advance. It's not a loan. Uh, I know there's been some discussion whether uh, you know the new – Cash advance program is not a loan, but Fiverr makes it very clear it's not a loan, in which case the reason being is because in the terms of service, Fiverr is going to be repaid by your future earnings. However, if your future earnings decline or your account is shut down, all right, Fiverr will uh, eat the cost. They will not come after you according to the terms of service. They will not come after you for that ex that money that they they sent you. So I am I am betting that what they are doing is different accounts will have different options. I'm sure they're vetting for the accounts. I'm not exactly sure what that process is, but it is unique and it doesn't qualify as a loan. Like I said, because they clearly state that if you you know lose your account, you know it, you your account shuts down the. Um, you can't repay because your business goes away. They're not going to come after you. They're going to eat the cost of it. So I find that very interesting. It's kind of cool. I mean, I, you know, they're de now listen, they definitely, I mean, 7%. And on top of that, if you happen to turn around and use that money that Fiverr is giving you to uh, put towards Fiverr products, you know, they're going to get 20% of that back. And the fee that you pay on top of that. So, I mean, if you use that money, you know what I mean, for Fiverr products, I mean, it could be pretty, um, you know, it could be pretty lucrative for Fiverr. Let's just put it that way. But, you know, at the same time, it's an interesting thing. And I guess it's another way that Fiverr can make some extra money. So, those that was big news yesterday. But today... I feel like I have an even bigger news, uh, which is very exciting uh, and and interesting and intriguing. So I got an article from one of the uh, people in Avio's journey, Nick. Uh, Nick Denton sent me an article. And basically, the article, big news to me, is that LinkedIn, that's right, I'm gonna, I want you to hear this, LinkedIn, okay, is uh, making headlines because... They are going to reportedly be taking on Fiverr, Upwork, and the gig economy by starting their own their own gig-based business, all right, where they're going to be offering services like marketing, consulting, professional services through LinkedIn. Uh, and, you know, because remember, Microsoft owns LinkedIn. So, you know, this is a big deal because LinkedIn is a massive, massive, massive machine and site. And, you know, we went back before when we were talking about Upwork, Doing things like, you know, putting gigs together similar to Fiverr, but Upwork, you know, kind of faltered in my opinion. They really uh, did not go as far as they needed to do with being able to promote it or uh, even, you know, services like voiceovers where we couldn't even put videos up or demos up to show our work. Um, this is something that I think is going to be massively huge 
Um, they're going to launch their services uh, to compete with Fiverr and Upwork. Um, and, you know, LinkedIn are going to focus on, they're talking about consulting, marketing, and writing. Uh, and they're talking about the service may launch as soon as September of this year. So it's a, I mean, you know, LinkedIn, like they're talking on here, I was looking at LinkedIn has 740 million users. And if I was Fiverr, you know what I mean? I would be definitely worried because if you think about it, LinkedIn has the the people who Fiverr wants or needs, right? So, you know what I mean? What's interesting is with the stock, too, a Fiverr stock, you know, Fiverr stock has gone up, up, and up, but honestly, because no one's been able to have any competition with Fiverr, but LinkedIn could really, really, really uh, spoil the pot for their stock prices if LinkedIn does it right. Okay, um, because LinkedIn has the built-in audience, the built-in information. Uh, now, what does that mean for you and me? It means another opportunity, another place to be. But just remember, just like anything else we talk about, don't be the last one to the game. Right, as soon as this stuff, pay attention, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be following it. Um, as soon as this stuff happens. You know, it's it's uh, you know when someone jumps in, it's it's a good thing for you to get into. I know in the LinkedIn article it talked about uh, Fiverr and Upwork combined made like five hundred and fifty million dollars in revenue last year. Okay, um, but if you think, um, you know, that's that's the information reports that the revenue of the two companies went up thirty seven percent in two thousand twenty compared to two thousand nineteen. I mean, honestly. Upwork competing with Fiverr, you know, that's one thing. I mean, I think Fiverr is starting to leave them in the dust, but they've never really had, any of them have not had a true competitor, someone that was possibly bigger than them. And LinkedIn certainly would be that competitor. Uh, you know, they, Microsoft, I guess in the article, reportedly discussed letting people pay freelancers through LinkedIn using a digital wallet from Microsoft. The information states that it's unclear how Microsoft wants to utilize the digital wallet at the time. I think that would be a bad idea. I think if they just use PayPal and and I get Microsoft is trying to, but just you know, don't screw that up. LinkedIn, if LinkedIn does that, I think that will screw things up. I mean, I'll get it. I'll do it though. I mean, because it's a it's an important place to be. Many of us freelancers have been trying to crack the code, you know, for LinkedIn, if you will, about trying to really dive into you know, getting business directly and how to manage that. But it could be very incredible if they set it up right. Um, you know, and it says uh, they, they put down a LinkedIn spokesperson told the information that LinkedIn has been a surge, has seen a surge in people looking for and requesting services from people who have marked their profiles as open for business. In the future, we'll be building new ways to share more about the services you could offer directly through your LinkedIn profile. So that's interesting. So it might be where you're actually offering it through your LinkedIn profile, which is kind of cool because, you know, one thing that Fiverr doesn't have, which is interesting, we might pay attention to this, right, is they're talking about LinkedIn possibly, if I'm reading this right, you would offer those services directly through your LinkedIn profile so someone could purchase from you through LinkedIn your services, and that means you still have your way to market your business from articles that you can put up on LinkedIn, posts you can put up on LinkedIn, and then people finding your – so that's why them going to your profile now on LinkedIn is even more important than it was before. This is exciting to me. Uh, I, I'm excited about it, one, just because you know anytime there's a new marketplace that opens up, uh, it's exciting. But to me, whenever there is like big, heavy competition – Right between people, whenever the market is open, what happens? Deals for us. They want they you know like like for example, it might be like getting in on the bottom level of LinkedIn starting. I mean, you know, who knows how they'll promote it, how they'll offer you know incentives and things like that. So it's a great place to be. So, anyways, I thought this was exciting, exciting news. I wanted to share it with you. Looks like the article literally just came out today. Or yesterday, yesterday about LinkedIn, and I want to thank Nick, Nick Denton, for sharing this with me. This is great news, and you know, for us people who you know really do a lot of work on these platforms like Fiverr and Upwork and and so forth, this is massive, massive news uh, because it's one thing like Upwork or LinkedIn to steal from each other a little bit, but it's another thing for LinkedIn. Yeah, I mean, I said Fiverr and Upwork. I mean, not LinkedIn and Upwork. Fiverr and Upwork stealing from each other, but LinkedIn. 
to possibly being throwing their hat in the ring um, uh, and the gig economy is pretty insane. So I think it's clear to say, and I, 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 I'm, this, is, this is out of the kindness of my heart to everybody, for all the people who have been fighting the gig economy, LinkedIn's jumping in. Don't fight it, guys. Jump into it. It's not too late, especially with these news from LinkedIn. Don't be left behind. All right, um, with your business because you know you don't think it's going to stay. It is here to stay, and it's growing. In fact, the prediction I make is that it's just going to it's going to continue to take over everywhere. I think sooner or later, if this goes down with LinkedIn, you why wouldn't you see it? I mean, think about it. Facebook, you can kind of do that a little bit, all right, but it's not set up. I think is it's not set up that way per se because it's more about the ads. But see, remember. What does LinkedIn do? LinkedIn off also offers ads. That's going to be a whole new style of revenue for, for LinkedIn, right? Because then there could be ads that you pay for to bring people to your profile as opposed to the ads that you buy on there like to send them to your website. But there would be ads to bring them to your profile so they could, you could actually work through LinkedIn. Uh, it's pretty impressive. It's exciting. It's interesting. We'll see what happens. And uh, I hope that this uh, was... Uh, insightful for you uh, as well. So uh, thank you guys so much as always for watching and I wish you the very best and uh, hopefully you know you have a great week. Oh, real quick, make sure that you like and subscribe. Of course, I got to put that in there. Also, Avio's Journey Elite, super excited about our group. We've now hit 104 members, all right? Uh, we're on our way. We're trying to get to 110. That's our next benchmark. This is a wonderful group where we meet Wednesdays and Saturdays every week, Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern, Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern. And our goal is to help you grow your business on Fiverr, Upwork, whether you're new or, or not, you're you know, on your personal website or your business website, meaning marketing, voice acting. We do coaching. Uh, we do uh, processing, you know, how to process your audio. Everything that you need to know as a voice actor to learn how to do voiceover and to grow your voiceover business, we help you. Uh, and we have um, – an amazing group, private Facebook group too, that just is super helpful. So anyways, that link below will be there to help you if you want to get involved with that. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.